All right, I'm just trying to figure out if this is going to work. Um, hello. As uh, I'm doing my Friday drive, going back home from a regular week at, at the job. Let's see if I can do this up. It was a nice week. This week was a week of just reassessing where I am with the Lord. Um, I was telling a friend of mine, a brother in Christ, earlier, you know, we're saved by grace, not by uh, by what we do. And but two weeks would be eight, my 18th spiritual birthday when I initially pretty well, pretty much came back to God, to Christ, and it was a supernatural experience, nonetheless. Let me close this window. It was a beautiful experience, and people shouldn't just dwell on um, their salvation experience of when, when they surrender to the Lord and just stop at that. They should just go. They should go forward. But for me and my uh, in my walk with God, it was it was it was it was something supernatural. Um, I don't like to go into too many de details because you know, well, you know just say it this way. I will, maybe I will go into details. When I gave my life to Jesus, I came back to Jesus. That was uh, high school. That was 25 years ago. And what happened was I surrendered at a youth group altar call inside of our uh, during during lunch. And what happened with that was. It felt good. There was no shame. There was no guilt. There was no nothing. There was just like, oh, wow, you know, Jesus died for my sins, and so, so be it. And I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior and confess with my mouth and believe him with my heart that he died. Well, uh, four, you know, six months later, I went off to college. What did I do? And some people say you can't lose your salvation, but I pretty much, you know, I did the whole partying fornication and uh, not too much drinking but that was a little bit of but in my heart I, I knew that I was a servant of Jesus with all my heart and I had backslidden what happened from that point on it went deeper and darker into different types of sin pride lust fornication like I said there wasn't too much alcoholism there wasn't really there wasn't that much alcohol or drug addiction Thing of that, but what happened was I sunk into a deeper pit, and at my lowest point, as some of you guys know, um, I became a DJ in a strip club in 1990. No, in 2000 of February of January. And for her, not even three weeks, I was working in that club as a DJ, seeing all kinds of matters of adultery, fornication, perversion. Um, and for the women, you would see on their faces, you would, you would, you would sense, even as a backslider, uh, you see the, the, the horribleness of it, of the degradation. Um, and I'm right now, I'm at the sulfur plant by, uh, at the port of Stockton. When I gave my life to the Lord, I smelled sulfur, just how this sulfur plant over here smells, but way worse, for like a week straight. I had started dabbling in Filipino witchcraft. Some people call it uh, cultural beliefs, animistic beliefs, but I, mean, I, I consider it as voodoo, Filipino witchcraft. I saw shadow monsters and I, demons, whatever you want to call them. Um, but the thing is, the moment I surrendered to Jesus and I called up my sister and I said, you know, why do I smell sulfur and I feel like my skin is burning and it just feels so rat ratchet and rancid and disgusting. She says, you know what, you're, you need to give your life back to the Lord. You need to surrender it all. Give it all back to Jesus. And the second I said that prayer, not just said it, believe in my heart, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord that he died for your sins on that cross, you know. Um, there was a weight lifted. Uh, that fear, those, that, that, um, that fear of death, that fear of, uh, of ugliness. They said, you know what, 
do not fear the one that could that could kill you, but fear the one that could kill you and send you to hell. And that fear was gone, and it was all God. It was all Holy Ghost. So that was 18 years ago. Two more weeks, okay, 18 years ago. It's February 17th, 2000. Now it's February 2nd or 3rd, 2018. And I had my share of uh, stumbling, but I came back. And what happens, my mom used to say it this way, when you fall seven times, when you fall, you get back up, climb back up. And every step of the way, when, when I have, haven't been living up to my full potential, as a Christian, as a believer, I had to just step back up and say, you know what, I'm not going to feel sorry for myself. I'm not going to have a pity party. I'm going to live for Jesus. And it's going to be wonderful, fantastic. It's going to have a lot of joy, you know, even in the downtimes, even in the financial struggles, even in the points of like, people looking and saying, why are you still serving God? Look, you're, 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 you don't got a wife, you don't got a girlfriend, you got no kids, you don't got, you still got debt, you still have problems. Well, yeah, you know what? 18 years ago, I had debt and I had problems, but there was sadness there. Now there's, now there's, you know, they say there's a difference between joy and happiness. Joy, well, happiness depends on what happens. Joy is dependent on Christ and what He has done. And that knowing, it's not a feeling, it's a knowing that God's got your back no matter what. And I'm at a place in my life where there's a lot of contentment and there's a lot of going forward. There's a lot of plans I have, but whatever God wants to change my plans, I'm willing, I'm now I'm willing to, to go and, uh, and, and fully accept God's changing of my plans, you know. I mean, I, I really do have my, uh, my dreams, my goals still. But if God wants us to alter that, there's uh, there's an okayness with it. They say, okay, God, whatever you want. I mean, because what's the, what's alternative? What's the alternative? You can uh, fight what uh, God's plans, but what's going to happen is the fact that you're just going to. The worst thing you can do when you fight God is that you get what you what you want and leave leave God for second best. He's got to move him over, you know. And God can say, you know what? Fine, have your way. I had had bigger plans for your life, things that you didn't even know, but you wanted your way. So go ahead, Sam, have your way been a little bit different type of um, how's it going Sam episode but I think this was episode 12 anyhow I want you guys to have a good day have a relaxed day tomorrow enjoy it be blessed not stressed I'll ride I'll ride I'll ride until next time take care see you later